Hey guys, it's Moz. Um, I've gotten a couple requests and questions on YouTube on um, what SSD I'm using and how to set it up. And I've also gotten questions on how to have two Bluetooth controllers connected at the same time to be able to play two player video games. Um, and I'm also gonna show um, the hardware information that shows up on the Tesla and also in the Steam app. Uh, so first things first, there are two USB ports, two USB-C ports down here. I have one connected charge on the phone. There's another one right there. That's a little hard to see. There's also USB port in here. Now that's the one that I use for my SSD. This is the SSD that I use. Samsung SSD, uh, got it from Amazon, super reliable, really good. Um, this one is two terabyte. Now I do already have that one formatted for Steam, so I went ahead and plugged in the 128 gigabyte USB flash drive that comes with the Tesla. And uh, so I just went ahead and plugged that in just so um, you guys can get a view of how it would be when you first plug in your brand new SSD or whatever storage that you end up using. Um, so you're gonna come to the Steam page here in the arcade, and the first thing that you see is format USB drive. So there's a couple different ways to format. Um, if you go in here and you go to safety, there's also a way to format your USB for specifically dash cam, and there's a way to format it or also delete your clips from here as well. Now, what you're gonna do is when you format it for Steam, you click that button, and what it says is that it's gonna format it for the car and also for use with the dash cam and for Steam. So it's gonna save 64 gigabytes for the dash cam and the rest is gonna be used for Steam. So we're gonna press format here it says formatting USB drive for Steam. And once that's ready to go, then we can play Steam. And now you can see it's already formatted. So now that's that flash drive that we put in has 64 gigabytes of data stored away for your continuous dash cam recording and your sentry mode videos and then the rest of it can be used for Steam. And the other thing I want to show you guys here is if you go into your software, you can see additional vehicle information. So over here it's showing that we have an AMD Ryzen infotainment processor and the RAM is 16 gigabytes. Now it's showing 16 gigabytes in here. Um, however, when I go into Steam, it, it shows as a, a little bit lower. So I'll show you that as well. But let me now show you how to get my Bluetooth connected. So right now it shows that it's being used as touchpad. The controller icon is not green. What I'll do is I'll turn on my controller that is synced. And then the green light will pop up by the controller logo. So now it's connected and the controller is on. Now this controller I just bought, brand new controller, and what I'll do with this is I'll sync it on here and I'll show you guys how to sync it. So I'll go to Bluetooth, I'm gonna add a device. Now before I start the search, to put your controller into sync mode to be able to search or link with the car, you're gonna hold the PlayStation button and the share button up here. And I'll hold those until it starts flashing. Now it's in discover mode. So we're gonna press start search here and it automatically pops up wireless controller. We're gonna add that. Also one thing to note, at the moment, the Tesla can only connect two Bluetooth devices at the same time. So make sure your phone is, like my phone is here, but it's not connected. Uh, if my phone was connected, one of the controllers would not be able to sync up at the moment. So make sure your phone is disconnected, but at the moment here are my two controllers. They're both on. They both show that they're synced here. And now my Steam shows two connected controllers. 
Now from here, I'll be able to play any of my two player games that I'll do uh, videos for as well, like NBA 2K23 and Overcooked 2. Other thing I wanna show you guys right now, is let me go ahead and launch Steam. You can see Steam actually does quite a few updates independently from the Tesla software. So Steam is constantly updating itself along with the games, also being updated and patched consistently. So we've got Steam launched here. I also just got the Guardians of the Galaxy game, so that's shown up here as well. Um, touchscreen works even if you have your controllers connected. And as soon as I press one of my controllers, controls switch over to that as well. And even on the second controller. So both controllers input works. And I can also use the touchscreen as well. Okay, now one thing that people were asking were to see the system specs. So this is showing me the CPU as the AMD Ryzen. And here it's showing me RAM size is 9.76 gigabyte. And it's showing the video card and the video driver and the VRAM size. Okay. Now in here, my games probably won't show up as installed because I have the flash drive plugged in instead of my SSD. So I'll go ahead and plug that back in so I can show you guys. But right, before I turn this off, let me show you how I actually do it. Shut down Steam from in here. And then I swipe down. Press the X button over there. Again, it's showing two controllers connected. This frame image from. Uh, oh, sorry about that. So I've got. Two controllers connected. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my USB, plug plug in my SSD back in, and that's already formatted, so it should be good to go. And I'll get you guys more gameplay footage. All right, see you guys on the next one.